All right. So we're just going to go inside now. Have a look inside for you. So. Straight ahead. We've got the aircon going at the moment. Got the aircon. Boxes under there. The two beds, top and bottom. One suite there to the left. Now there's a table on either side. So they're both lift up. There's a stereo. Couple speakers. I mounted the aircon control on the side. There's your lights and your stereo controllers there. Another couple of USB and power points. So we go in. You got the and it's all set up. If you have that back then, we're going to leave that bed up because we won't really be using the lounge inside. But when you put that bunk down, just a couple of latches here, one on this side, one on the other side there. Pull them out, move all the pillows out of the way, and then you just lay it down. So there's the bed. Got some storage compartments on either side here. And then both of them, yeah. A cigarette lighter socket there and at that end USB sockets as well uh, that's on both sides in the storage compartment got a light on each side up the back as well and uh, we got the flash on apparently we've got a TV that actually when we're traveling that's going to be coming down and just going on the bed and you can move these around and you got access there that gives you access on just on top of the kitchen when it's slid in when it's out there's another power point in there for the aircon and stuff so it makes it easy to get up here and lift the bed up and we've got some more drawers down in here four on either side throw your clothes or board games or whatever in there so Something to keep the kids entertained. And that's uh, the fridge area there when the fridge is in there. So, close that up. A little more we've done already. A couple of fans up on the roof. So, run the power cable down there. And this is the ensuite here. There's all canvas and door. Close them up, lock it. So, Got two really, really big compartments here. They all go all the way to the side. You can't actually get to them from outside the van, so I suppose you put valuables in there. This one here, we have our toilet paper and towels and stuff. And that's our toilet there. And your basin. And with this basin, actually pull the pull the nozzle around and pull the nozzle out and put it up on the roof just like that. And that's your shower. So that's pretty easy. And uses the same tap. Then we've got a little vent up here if you want to. You just open the roof, lift it up, and then you can have the fan go either way. You can have it suck air in or blow air out. Get the shower back in there. Swing it out of the way. Lift your basin up. Now there's no drain in the basin, but when you tip it up, it actually goes down in a little area just underneath there. And that goes down into the grey water tank as well. So that is the inside of our caravan. Now these bunks, they're actually quite long. They might not look it, but I was just laying down in there. And my head wasn't, it was about six inches off the top there. And my feet were down here, about six inches off the bottom down here as well. And I'm six foot tall, so it's quite a lot of room. It's uh, a lot bigger than I thought the bunks were going to be, which is great. Um, yeah, so that's our door. When you don't have the aircon on, you just, just roll up your door, above your door, all the way up. And you got Velcro there. There's Ram. Clip him up. 
Uh, it's quite dark at the moment with all the shades closed. And shade in the toilet. And four in in the main area. Plus uh, one for your door if you want to have it closed as well. And then you got little vents up the side here too. And you put power leads and stuff through. Which come outside just above the kitchen. So there you go.